Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I have this lock from Basi for you. Really nice logo again with the elephant. I think the slogan is elephant safe. Um, it's one of their standard models. It's a V50, uh, quite a newer model, I think. It's a double euro. Uh, here's the writing and here again, the very nice logo. The keyway is wide open. You can put a very thick tension. I think this is 1.3 millimeter and this is still sloppy. Um, here's the key. It's a five pin lock. The bidding is actually quite good. Um, I got this lock from a locksmith. I was on a vacation and tried to get free locks from locksmiths there and at a local shop there, but they didn't have any. So yeah, I bought, bought the cheapest lock, which was this Bazi, which I didn't have yet. So yeah, let's try to pick it. And then we can have a look at the pins hopefully inside. So get it in the vise. Get you focused. This thick tensioner here in the pin side. And then I will be using this quite steep hook from Multipick in 0.6 millimeters just because you have the space. Tension is rather light, but yeah, you can also apply more, I guess. So this was five, four is not binding, three is binding. And a set, one is binding. And we got a good false set now. Let's try again, maybe four now. Yeah, four is binding. And now we get counter rotation from four. I think four is set, but something else must have dropped because we lost the fourth set. Let's go through the pins. Okay, two is also binding. Ah, oh, yeah. it was just two. I hadn't touched it yet. So there it's open. Not so hard. Hopefully I can remove the C-clip quite quickly this time. I tend to struggle with these a lot. Okay, looking good. Yep. There we go. Okay, let's get a pinning tray. Pinning shoe. Shrip. There we have it. Yeah. Oh, there's a possibility for construction keying, I guess. Otherwise, these holes doesn't make sense. It's not deep enough for anti-drill protection or so. So what, probably you can put a ball bearing here in, in chamber two or three, which then drops in these holes, maybe. Could not explain another reason for that. Yeah, let's take the drivers first. Front follower. Okay. 
and 5 is standard. Nice springs. And 4, well, this should be a spool from picking. No. It's a nice spool. Three is also standard. Two is a spool. Now we have the and one standard. I believe the springs in, in one and two. I'm not show you these. I guess they are all the same. But let's have a look at the effectiveness of the pins. Well, most are standard, but here in chamber four, the spool, yeah, perfect. You start right off in the spool section and then you have quite a long way until you reach the lip of the spool and then you have to overcome this. But the other spool in chamber two, well, oh yeah, it would be here, yeah, also effective like this. Okay, cool. All the others are standard. And chamber three, which is almost a zero lift, but not completely. You have to lift it a little bit. Let's have a quick look at the pins, at the key pins. But I guess they're all standard. This is four. Five. If two doesn't want to come out. Now oh, there we go. So then we have them. Actually the key pins are all standard, but they might be steel, I don't know. They look very shiny. I can check with a magnet. Let's see if I can quickly grab a magnet. Where is it? No. So I have this magnet here on on this broken off pick, and it's it's not. They're not reacting to this springs as well, but the C-clip is some kind of magnetic metal, probably steel. Okay, anyhow, that's all for today. What I got you on this Bazi, Bazi V50 walk. So, thanks for watching and have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.